What's up guys, TCM back with another video. And today I'm going to show you how to make a sword in Roblox Studios. Alright, so we're going to cut straight to the point. So the first part, you want to make your handle. You, you know, you just want to make your sword. So we're going to start off with the handle part. I'm going to make the material plastic. So, 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 so. Plastic, black. Also, come over here to model. And here you'll see the uh, studs part. For you, it most likely won't be zero yet, but change that, turn that all the way down to zero. Because then you'll be able to get really slim parts for like the blade and all that. See, it gets you down to there because usually it stop probably like right here. But you'll be able to go all the way down here. But for the handle part, we're going to make it basic. It's going to be a pretty basic sword. Uh, make sure it's not anchored. And that's the handle. And I always like to do this, but go over to plugins, rig builder, uh, R15. There we go. And I like to put it in the hands to see how it looks. See if it's too big, too small, too long. Just turn it on its side like it would be in the game. And you can see that it fits all right ish. Probably scale it down, do whatever you have to do. Scale it down, make it bigger, whatever you have to do. Boom. That's the handle part. So you want to go over to this. You want to click on it. And you want to hold shift. H A N D L E handle. Now in workspace, you want to click that plus sign and you want to add a tool. You want to grab your handle, put it in the tool. Now, whatever part you plan on adding to this handle, like this blade part and whatever else you want to add, put it in the tool. So I'm going to add the blade part. I'm going to make it metal, silver. Yeah, that's good. Make it thinner. This is a pretty terrible sword, but it's good. Made in rush. Now, you want to put that in the tool. Now, in handle, you want to add weld constraint. And how many parts you've added, how many uh, the parts that you added, you want to also put, his, put the same amount as of weld constraints. Then you want to click on Walk Strength Properties, go down to Parts, Part of Handle, Part One, the uh, whatever part it is that you're trying to add to the handle. Click on that, zip that up. Now you pretty much have your sword, okay, mostly made. Now you need to add scripts in there. Now I put the model in my description of the wooden sword. And this one will have the scripts that you need. And you want to take these two scripts, a uh, script and swing sword. Take both of these. I just copy and paste them so that if you mess up, you just always copy them back. And in swing sword, you'll have how long the animation is going to play and when it stops. And in this script right here, this will be the damage script, and this will determine how much damage the person will take from a uh, sword. It's kind of late right now. And the cooldown for me. Uh, how many times? I mean, not how many times I fall. Uh, but how much time you can do before you have to swing again? Before you can swing again, okay? Cool down time, I fall. 
stretching. Gotta stay awake. <laughs> Alright. So now the sword is mostly done. But uh, some people want to add custom animations to it. Okay. Want to have that own animation. But uh, for this sword, I added a basic animation. But if you want to change the animation, go down here to swing sword. Open this up. Come down here to swing. You want to go to animation ID. And you want to change that. And you want to paste whatever ID you want. But uh, yeah, to make animation, you have to come over here to plugins, go to animation editor, click on that, then you have to get a dummy, make sure it's not anchored, and you have to make your animation. I firmly would use moon animator. Man, my chair is squeaky. Chill out. Uh, swing. Grab his arm. Lift it up to here. I personally use Moon Animator, but I gotta use Roblox. Because I know some people don't want to get it. Uh, but Moon Animator is a plugin. You can get it from the toolbox. It is five Robux. Kind of hard to grab. Finally. Okay, and you want to move it back down for basic animation, and then you'll play it. That's basic animation. Then you save the Roblox, and it'll be a thing where you can copy the ID, and this will where where you put the ID. Go to animation ID right here, and control click on it. Control V. That's all you gotta do. Now that now that it's done. You uh, could put the tool in start pack right here, and it would be in your inventory as soon as you load it in. But sometimes you can pick it up off the ground if you want to do that too. Put it in start pack. That's what I'm gonna do. Click home, click play to test it out. Wait till everything loads in. And now you have your working tool in Roblox, your working sword. Now mine obviously it looks crappy because I didn't really try at all. But that's the swing animation. And you can see he takes damage if I hit him with this. Yeah, that's how you make a sword. And uh, obviously this one looks a little bit better. This is probably like what the first time that I made the sword and uh, I'll put a link in the description for uh, the katana that I made which I think looks a lot cooler you can use that one and also has a pretty good animation you can use also keep in mind whatever rig you use like whatever rig builder you use like if it's R15 or R6 you'll ha your character will have to be R15 or R6 so you have to change that in the game settings yeah just so if this if this one right here it's R15 if I made the animation, it only worked for R15 avatars, not R6. So you'd have to change everyone's avatar to R15. Alright. If you have any questions, put that down in the comments down below. If this helped you out even in a little bit, uh, like, subscribe. See you.